curve. This one, this big one. Bring one book. Shit. See? I'm Kurt Belding. My life is hunting and fitness. For me, hunting's not a hobby. It's an obsession. Last morning here in Chihuahua. Did some glassing this morning. Spotted some deer way off. Looks like there's a buck in there. So we gotta get closer. See how big. Getting packed up. I'm heading off tomorrow morning at like 3 a.m., super early, on off on another hunting adventure, going back to Mexico to see if I can fulfill that uh, mule deer hunt I was on about a month ago when I shot the odd dad and still was trying to go after a mule deer. But uh, trying to kill a mule deer in Mexico. I also, I just wanted to break and kind of reflect a little bit. Three years ago, I decided to change my life drastically on what I was doing. I used to own a bunch of uh, businesses and companies and it was a pretty busy life, pretty stressful. And I made a midlife adjustment where what I really wanted to do in life was go on very cool hunting adventures um, and as many as I could get in. So I've been doing that for three years. And I'm super, I'm super grateful that I've been able to do that with my life. Uh, super grateful that you guys are following along, watching. Uh, super grateful for my wife and my family that allow me to do this. Um, but yeah, heading off tomorrow, another really cool adventure and fulfilling my dream, my life adjustment of going on as many cool, epic adventures as I can with hunting. Um, because you know what? You're going to die. Everyone's going to die. So make sure every moment that you live is to the fullest and make sure you're doing exactly what you want to do in life because it's going to end. Right, guys i am back back in the desert of chihuahua mexico it is a uh, the first morning i'm hunting mule deer i was here about a month ago hunting audad and mule deer did not fill the mule deer tag so i'm back and uh we're gonna have a, a blast we're gonna have a great time so getting out there this morning um looking for a nice mature buck that's all we're looking for something mature so here in in the Chihuahua Desert of Mexico, there's a, the mule deer that we're hunting is a subspecies. Uh, they have actually four different subspecies of mule deer. This one is called the Kruki, Kruki mule deer. Um, so this subspecies is a little bit, they don't get quite as big as like the Sonora or the mule deer from Colorado that we're used to. So like a 
a good Kirky mule deer is probably about 160, 170. That's a good one. Like the state record is 191 for the state of Chihuahua. Um, so you kind of have to set the expectations out of the gate, knowing that like, you know, a 200 inch Kirky is unheard of. That's not going to happen, but if you find something, find something 150, 160, that's a good mature deer and that should be taken. So that's really what we're looking for right now. Um, but you know, just something mature, something, something six, five, six, seven years old would be great. Um, and you'll notice like this desert mule deer, their ears are quite a bit bigger uh, to help disperse the heat, especially during the summertime because it gets really, really hot in the summer to help disperse the heat from their body. So, um, as you guys may see in this video, you'll see that their ears are a little bit bigger, but, but yeah, again, setting the expectations out of the gate, not looking for something 180, 190, 200, 150, 160, and we'd be super lucky for something 170, but that's really what we're looking for. Not much going on that walkabout. Got in about four miles. Um, now we're gonna go head off to a different area and uh, see what we can find. All right, we just got back from the morning one. We're gonna go head over to a new area and uh, see if there's any deer in this new area. Hey, Kirk. What? This one. This big one. Bring one book. Shit. Nice job, man. Nice job. Okay. Yes, sir. Nice. See? Really good. Nice job. Finish eating nice. my orange. Yeah. Really nice. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Nice. It's a good one. Really nice, yeah. It's a big one. It's all good. Yeah. Yes, sir, man. Good. Yes, he did. He did. The other work is this, very different. It's very heavy. Heavy, yeah. It's strong. It's strong. Extra strong. <laughs> yes, sir, man. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to make sure. Yeah. Like I know he was good, yeah, but like he's good. He's very good. Yeah. Maybe have the same same point to five for five. Mm -hmm. But his old work is heavy. Alright. Just made the shot. <laughs> we'll walk up on it. He's gonna very excited. I'm excited. He's a good old old deer, super heavy. Which is really nice. So we'll see. Just see how mature and how old he is. Let's see what we got walking up on him. Old peak. Alright. Yeah, man. It's all blue. Huh? You like? 
Yeah, yeah he's, he's nice. nice. <laughs> heavy. Very Super heavy. heavy at the base. Yeah, real nice. Well, and that is my desert mule deer hunt. So super happy, happened quick. Um, happened on the first day. So I wish I, I was a little bittersweet. I wish I, it would have happened on like the fourth or fifth day so I could have kind of soaked it in a little bit more. But you know, he's a, a mature, older mule deer and I'm very happy with, with this guy. So.